What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. Today we are reacting to The Driver Era's new album, Girlfriend. Now I've had this album release date in my calendar for a hot minute, but now that I'm looking at the album, I'm realizing that songs one through seven are like new and then it renumbers itself one through eight and those are all songs that they've already released as singles. So the question is, what am I supposed to do for this video? I feel like I shouldn't react to all of them because I've already heard the second half of the album. How do you react? react to something that you've already heard. So I think I'm just gonna react to songs one through seven since those are the new ones. I'm a big fan of the Driver era. Their music is very experimental though. So their songs can be kind of hit or miss for me, but who knows what I'm gonna think of these new tracks. Let's get started. The first song on the album is called Heart of Mine. Oh, well, that's fun. Don't get so down. Don't get so down. She sounds really good. It won't mean anything. But laughing at how better off now for such a silly thing. Lost it from hopeless. Yeah, I know this. I would be calling all the time. with their music like who does that that outro was sick and that song was really cute like I could totally see myself playing that like a pool party because it's music you can dance to but it's also really chill music so it's good to like be in the background of like a party he sounds really good though like the high notes he's hitting them very vibey I'm like I'm living for it so far let's go on to the second song called crazy baby who knows guys who knows Okay, this is cool. I'm liking the beat that we have going. Hey, it's just wandering around tonight. Oh, I love that. The voice makes. Well, should I come up and stay? Let them pay. about how I feel about the bridge slash outro situation but oh my gosh I know I didn't put like me reacting to the entire song in this video but I was literally freaking out the entire song that was so good that was so cool I'm seeing them live in December will I die comment down below I don't know okay the next song is leave me feeling confident and they actually released this song and I think a music video for the song like maybe last week. I never listened to it. I never watched the video. I'm gonna listen to it right now so I can react to it for you guys. I like the title. Oh, that's cool. It gets hard, it gets harder. When it's you, I don't bother to get you out of my head. To get you out of my bed, yeah. It's a big, a big reason That it's you I keep keeping All up inside my head You rallied up in my bed Oh, listen We 
don't have no inhibition Strange conditions with traditions or suspicions Okay, Riley Oh, listen Me and you are great together Now for better The babies, are you kidding me? The babies Besties, are you hearing this? The bass really carried in that song. It was a lot more groovy than the first two. His voice? I can just like imagine him on stage because I've seen R5, this is like their old band, perform in concert twice. And when he performs, he's like, he gets like all close to the mic and I can just see him singing those little like mumbly limes like that. Oh my gosh. The next song on the album is called Beautiful Girl. We're off to an erythral, erythral? Oh my gosh, I can't remember the word. Erythral. We're off to an erythral start. <laughs> That one gives me very much Tame Impala. It's a very like, my hair, I should have really done my hair. It's a very like loopy song. Like it's kind of repetitive. The kind of song that just sounds like the same thing over and over again that you kind of like can zone out to, which is what Tame Impala is for me. Like sometimes I'll listen to Tame Impala when I'm like doing my makeup and I need to focus because the music isn't too distracting. So I feel like it's the kind of song you have to be in the mood for. Next we have number one fan. I'm trying to remember if they also pre-released this one and I don't remember. I haven't listened to it though. I didn't mean to let you down And then I put my head down Probably heard the rest cause it was too dark if you will um it was very choppy and i feel like that made it hard for me to get into it especially after beautiful girl which was the exact opposite the next song on the album is heaven angel and i filmed my entire reaction to hearing this song and watching the music video i'll link it down below if you want to watch it i'll listen to it right now anyways though because after i heard this song it was literally my favorite song for like months. I find the structure of the song to be really interesting and different. The bass in the song is super catchy.
can watch my reaction to that for more insights, but I love that song. Um, the next song is called When You Need a Man. When do you need a man? Never. You, you never need a man. What is he gonna say in this? I'm listening. I got my eyes on you. Yeah, let's see. Oh, it does not fade into the interlude. Okay, listen, I love a good outro and I love a good interlude. That was fun. I like that they have little like snippets of just casual them talking or casual them casually singing throughout this. Okay, so those were all the new songs. This is OMG, please don't come around, but I just love this song, so I just want to listen to it. Ready? That's all I know. Are you kidding me? Okay, those were all the new songs. I need to backtrack a little bit. So, When You Need a Man. Okay, this song was a little bit more groovy. The lyrics were very interesting. First of all, he opens up the song by saying, he says, you look miserable. But then he says, but it's not your fault. And he goes on about how... You know, she's in like a bad relationship basically. So like when you need a man, come to me, call me. I don't know, I get the sentiment. <laughs> okay, also I just wanted to say the opening, of, the opening line of the song reminded me of that Tyler the Creator song where he opens it up by saying, you look malnourished. <laughs> because he thought it would be funny to put like a bad pickup line kind of like at the very beginning of a song it reminded me of that he's like you look miserable <laughs> oh and then like i said love a good interlude and then all the other songs on the album i've already heard before because they've been released as singles and they even get renumbered like i said they get renumbered one through eight so i don't feel bad about only reacting to the beginning how do i react to songs i've already heard before anyways overall i'm gonna say the first three songs on the album are my favorite new ones i've heard however my favorite favorite song on the album I, it probably is still Heaven Angel. Like, I don't think anything can beat Heaven Angel for me. I don't know why. I just love that song. So I'm going to go, like, Heaven Angel is my number one. And then it's probably, like, maybe, like, Crazy Baby. I feel like I really like that one. And then maybe A Kiss. That's, like, one of the older ones. Comment down below and let me know what your favorite songs on the album were. All I'm going to say is I hope the Driver era never stops experimenting. I hope that even if people don't get their songs because sometimes I don't get their songs. I'm not gonna lie. I hope they keep doing what they're doing and like being bold and trying new things and making different music that nobody's ever heard before because I think it's really cool. And I'm gonna be a fan of them no matter what they come out with, probably. That's all I'm gonna say. If you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe for more videos of mine. Check out my Heaven Angel reaction down below. I feel like I looked very different in that video. I'm thinking about it and I think that was the video I filmed after I did the bleach brows makeup tutorial. I hope you're doing well. I will see you all soon with another video. Goodbye. Bye. <laughs>